something Teddy Ruxpin or Tickle Me Elmo. Remember the Cabbage Patch Kids? This year it's the Hatchimo. I hope I, I hope I pronounced that right. It's it's uh, the doll in the eggshell that all the kiddos want, but none of the parents can find. Fox 29's Hank Flynn went out looking for one, and as it turns out, he didn't have to go too far. Oh my God! Look what he got. Yeah, I got me a Hatchimal today. A toy so in demand this year that I had to sit down and stare at it a while. I started out at Target, fat chance. Even if you get a case of it, you get six, I think six comes in a case. Six in a case, but and you get one case maybe, right? Yeah, yeah. That's insane. But I haven't actually seen him in the store now for two weeks. Wow. So I tried Momo's Treehouse over on Arch Street. All right, Heather, enough with the nonsense. Sure. <laughs> Where the hatch and moles. <laughs> Owner Heather Mohorn says Momo's deals a little more in toys than in hysteria. I can't tell you how many phone calls I get every day. About the really? Yeah, we uh <laughs> Yeah, I feel like we should answer the phone like Momo's Street House, this is Heather. We don't have hatch moles, but we do have scooters. <laughs> I didn't know where to turn, but hey, it's better to be lucky than good, right? See, I went on to go and do this story today, never realizing that Human Resources Director Megan Young had not one but two Hatchimals in her nest. Uh-huh. It was Thanksgiving that Megan and her boyfriend Tom caught lightning in a bottle. We were there at the right time to get in line. They were handing out the... Did they make an announcement? Or... They did. They had their ma their managers were very organized. The guy was very professional about the fact... Well, they didn't want to have a riot. No, and there was no riot, although there was a heavy police presence on the scene. Good we were actually, God. We were actually glad because we were a little bit nervous about walking out to the parking lot with our Hatchimals. So, one goes to Tom's daughter, Lachlan. For the other, Megan says that she's willing to listen to offers. This barn is a great American tradition, isn't it? <laughs> And the queue, Quincy Harris and I know a guy willing to make one. Okay, here he is. Hi, right, Tom. Tom. Yes. Tom. <laughs> look at that. No, you look at we that. Don't touch How much? Don't touch it. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you don't touch Step it. back. How much is that? Oh, it's hot, all right. Where'd you get, which, which alley did you buy that from? Uh, I don't know. Q show executive producer Tom Loudon. His search for the Hatchimal borders on the biblical, and he's come so close. You were so close. So close, but so far away. I did a phone on the Good Day weekend. Oh. I was out there watching. I was on the phone with Lauren Johnson as they w I missed out on my ticket, and I said, I'm walking away dejected. Now, I took a victory lap. I never expected to see a Hatchimal for this story. I suspect Tom's going to make a deal to have that thing hatch under his tree this year, one way or the other. Megan, I, I see your Hatchimal, and I was top you two American Girl Bells. <laughs> but aren't there like a thousand cool toys? What are we doing getting nuts over this every single Christmas? Tweet me if you refuse to play the game or if you're really good at it. At Hank Fox 29 or the house at Fox 29 Philly. Have fun out there, you bunch of crazy. That's fantastic.